Last year, in the month of January 2021, I started following a roadmap to prepare for data science. And exactly one year later, in the month of January 2022, I was able to crack three data science job roles. One of them was from a product-based company and the other two were from top service-based companies including Big Four as well. And today I will share this entire experience with you and by the end of this video, I will share all my best practices and tips that will help you to fast forward your progress and I am also gonna share the mistakes that I have made which you should be avoiding. My name is Vikash, I currently work for TCS and on this platform I am trying to create simple helpful tutorials and career guidance videos in order to help people who are trying to make a transition into analytics irrespective of their background. So please consider hitting the subscribe button if you are new to the channel and without any further delay let's roll the intro. Please allow me a couple of minutes to quickly discuss about my background before I started my preparation. It will help you to understand that what kind of advantages or disadvantages I had before starting my journey and this will also help you to set correct expectations for yourself. So clearly I do not have any background in BTEC. I completed my degree in mathematics in the year of 2016 and I started working in the service desk of Wipro in the year of 2017. After one job change and several internal movements, I was finally working as a data analyst in the year of 2020 for the company BT Group PLC, which is one of the top IT companies based in UK. And since I was already holding some job experience, I had my basics clear around data and I also had some basic understanding on mathematics and statistics. This is why I decided to take the next step in my career and to prepare for data science. What if you are someone who does not hold any prior job experience or does not have any prior understanding on mathematics or statistics? In that case, you may already find me irrelevant and most probably you are thinking of skipping this video. But since you have decided to give me few minutes out of your valuable time, I will also not let you go without creating some value for you. So if you are someone who does not have any prior job experience or does not have any prior understanding around data, mathematics or statistics and still wondering if data science could be a correct career option for you, then I would suggest that you dedicate around 2-3 to three months in order to learn about mathematics, basics of data, data manipulation and concepts of statistics and probability. After covering all these prerequisites, it will be very much easier for you to decide if data science is a correct option for you or not. I have created a beginner friendly SQL tutorial where you will get to learn the basics of data and I have also created a separate tutorial for mathematics for machine learning. I will provide the link in the description box, do consider checking it out. And in case you try to get started directly with the data science preparation without covering these prerequisites, then your experience of learning data science will become relatively more difficult. This is why I highly suggest that please get your prerequisites clear first. And now with that being said, let's get started with my journey of data science preparation. So for the first two months of my preparation, I focused on learning a programming language and revising my knowledge in statistics. When it comes to learning a programming language for data science, you have two popular options. One is Python and second is R. Like most of the people, I decided to go with Python because this language is very easy to learn and I started learning with all the free resources available on YouTube and different different web articles. Initially, I focused mainly on learning the basic data types like list, tuples, set, dictionary, etc. But after some time, I realized that Python has so much to offer that the learning is almost endless. And this is where most of the new people gets confused because Python is a language which is used for software development, game development and lot more. Hence, there are tons of libraries and frameworks to learn. And this is why most of the new people gets into a course loop. They will keep on doing a Python course till the time they find themselves perfect in Python. But this is not something which I would recommend. You will have to be absolutely clear with your goal that why are you learning Python. In my mind, I was absolutely clear that I needed Python in order to do data analysis and yes, of course, for machine learning later on. And therefore, I mainly focused on learning two popular libraries. One is Pandas and second is NumPy. 
These two libraries works as the most effective tool for data analysis purpose. But since I did not have any prior experience in coding, it was very difficult for me to code for a longer time. This is why after coding, whatever time was left for me for my preparation, I used to utilize that revising my concepts around statistics. So I started with the basics like mean, median, mode, normal distribution, bar chart, pie chart, etc. And later on, I also learned some advanced statistics concepts like hypothesis testing. In the month of March, I focused on learning mathematics as a prerequisite of machine learning. And parallelly, I was also learning data visualization. And I will tell you why. Because when this month started, I actually wanted to start studying machine learning. And to be honest with you, I also tried it for a few days. But it did not take me long to realize that without having my basics clear around mathematics, which is extremely, extremely required in order to study machine learning, I won't be able to gain a strong grip on the topics of machine learning like convergence, gradient descent, chain rule, etc. And this is why after trying machine learning for a few days, I stopped it and then I jumped into studying mathematics for it. And I covered pretty much all the basics around linear algebra, calculus, statistics, everything. Surprisingly, most of the people get away from learning mathematics and they have different reasons for it. Few people avoid learning it because they did not have any background in mathematics. But the interesting thing that you need to know is that when you are learning mathematics as a prerequisite of machine learning, you don't have to learn in the traditional way like we used to learn in school. Like we used to learn a concept, then we were given 10 different problems to solve. Over here, all the problems of mathematics will be solved by the programming language. All you need to know is you should have a basic intuition behind that one line of code that what kind of mathematical operation is actually being performed behind the programming. And as I said earlier, I have created a very simple mathematics tutorial playlist for machine learning. You will find the link in the description box. And while I was learning mathematics, I also used to take out some time to create data visualization dashboards in Tableau and Power BI. And parallelly, I was also learning the data visualization libraries like Matplotlib and Seaborn. So the month of April and May was all about studying machine learning and deep learning. So by this time, I had already started feeling comfortable and confident around data analysis with Python. I had my concepts clear with mathematics and statistics, pretty much everything which was required as a prerequisite to study machine learning and deep learning. So within these two months, I learned all kind of algorithms, techniques, methods and also applied them on the beginner friendly data sets like Titanic, house price prediction, breast cancer, etc. that you may be already aware of. And pretty much everything went quite well. But soon I got hit by the reality that working on a beginner friendly data set isn't going to make you a data scientist. Applying your knowledge on a tutorial based project or a guided project is a completely different experience than applying your skill set on a real life project. And it did not take me long to realize that I need to work harder and I need to work on some advanced projects as well. So for this entire month of June, I started picking some advanced projects or data sets from Kaggle and then started working on it. Of course, in the initial days, it was a bit challenging for me, but with time, gradually I was doing better. So now I completed learning everything that was required to land a job with a big fat package. Well, that's what I used to think before I was hit by another reality. So in the month of July, I was aggressively applying for jobs everywhere on LinkedIn, on Nofri, wherever possible. I was just updating my CV and applying for jobs. But soon I got to realize that neither my CV nor my experience was enough to get what I wanted. I was certainly not feeling good. I needed a real life data science job experience in order to get my CV shortlisted. And I needed a job to get that experience. So eventually I was stuck in this loop of hell. So by this time, even after learning a lot of things, I was reaching nowhere. And of course, I was feeling absolutely helpless. And I'm not sure about others, but when I feel helpless, I don't hesitate to approach people in order to ask for help. And therefore, I aggressively started approaching people on LinkedIn and focused a lot on creating network. I clearly remember writing cold emails and messages to almost more than 100 people and got the response what I wanted from around two to three people. And this is not a bad response rate. If you are approaching to 100 people and you are getting good response by at least two to three people, then it is really a good response rate. 
And finally, I met one of my mentors through LinkedIn who gave me the opportunity to work within a machine learning team for his startup. It was an unpaid internship and initially I was really doubtful around it whether I should be doing it or not because I also had a full-time job which I was doing parallelly but I was desperately looking for a real life experience and hence I said yes to him. Initially first few weeks I was not feeling comfortable at all. It was really really challenging for me to work on a messy real life data set and at times I was feeling like giving up. So I approached back to my mentor and explained my situation to him but he was so supportive that he kept on encouraging me and he kept on appreciating me even for the tiniest of effort that I was putting into work. And I think that was the turning point for me. None of the prior study tutorial or any kind of course helped me so far as much as this internship was helping me out to gain the experience which I needed to make a full time transition into data science. So between the month of July to October all I was doing is I kept on working within this internship I kept on working on the project and whatever work I was doing whether it was related to feature engineering implementing any machine learning model or anything I was just keep on updating it in my CV and parallelly I was also learning few new things like how to deploy a machine learning algorithm SQL etc and surprisingly by the end of October my CV had become so good that now the recruiters started noticing it and I started receiving calls from them. I clearly remember that I failed my first three to four interviews. I was not able to perform quite well. So in the month of November I also focused on preparing for data science interview from few of the free resources. And in the month of December, I started absolutely nailing it in the interviews. Whatever kind of algorithm techniques I was asked, I was able to answer properly because first I studied them very well. And secondly, I had already implemented them on real life project. And this is how by the end of January, exactly one year from the time I started my preparation, I was able to land three top companies in the data science job role. One of them was a big four company which is PwC that offered me the role of a data scientist. The other one was a product based company which is Fossil India that offered me the job role of a data engineer and then TCS that offered me a job role of data science slash data analyst. Looking at the all three offers and after discussing with my mentors, I finally decided to go with TCS which is an excellent company by the way. And here I am today trying to spread whatever knowledge I have gained so far with the people who are trying to make a transition into analytics who are actually standing on the same position where I was like a couple of years back. So I hope this video was useful for you. And of course you may have noticed so far that the roadmap or the learning structure that I was following isn't the best way of learning data science in today's date. Because today we have lot more better roadmaps that you will find on YouTube. But back in time when I started there was lack of guidance. But still somehow I was able to make it. And I hope the best for you as well. Drop a like below if you found this video helpful. Feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Share your questions with me over there and I will try to help you as much as I can with whatever knowledge I have. Till the time take care and I will see you in the next video.